So congrats, you've upgraded your IT system by migrating your emails, files, phones, security and device management to Microsoft 365. But there's one last thing that you need to upgrade, and that's your end user's IT skills. Because what's the point of upgrading to the most powerful, most advanced IT system in the world without training your users on how to use these modern tools? And really, for most of you IT managers watching this video, this means you too. Why? Because you don't know what you don't know. And you certainly weren't planning on doing any of this training for Windows 11. All you've ever known about Microsoft products is what you can see in front of you or you can easily click or is a maximum of one click deeper in the menu or quick ad hoc Google searches as things come to your mind. And if a feature in an app isn't immediately intuitive with no training or understanding of how it all is supposed to work together, it sucks. It's the problem. It's not you. But in the back of your head, you've always figured that there's more powerful features inside these apps like Word, Excel, Teams, OneDrive, that if you knew how to use these apps, these digital tools fully, your work would look so much more professional. You'd be so much more productive. You could communicate better. These ideas in your head and get them into the digital world. Look at all these menu items and their respective ribbons. There's so much there. In case as ideas come to you, you'll at least have an idea what these digital tools are capable of doing. So you'll at least know they're there if you ever need them in the future. And I understand what people are thinking because this has been my experience in my time with Microsoft products going back 25 years at this point. And this started when I got my first full Microsoft Systems Engineer certification back in 1998. I realized as I was completing the training and the certifications that I was getting better at my job, more people were complimenting me on my job. I was more confident with the Microsoft products. And I really began to understand how the Microsoft engineers who designed the software meant to have this software implemented. And once I understood how to implement it properly, my job performance and job satisfaction increased. My boss noticed and my salary and job opportunities increased. So imagine that. We all know that this is the case, but imagine that that instead of bitching about how the Microsoft products suck and how Microsoft sucks, and I instead got trained and certified, started using the software correctly and confidently, and my career and confidence increased. Imagine that. So imagine if everyone in your company got just a little bit of easy, interesting training on your new Microsoft 365 cloud systems and digital app tools that come with it. Would their work satisfaction increase? Would their frustration decrease? Would they have less support calls as a result? Reduce the company's IT support overhead line item? Would a little bit of training even make the company more profitable? Is it possible that the very modest cost of the training system pays for itself? Does this all sound a little too salesy? Did I go too far? Do these numbers sound a little too soft number for you in your return investment calculation? Well, this is exactly what a little bit of training along with your Microsoft 365 cloud service system does for your company. And I have seen this play out 25 to 30 times with Microsoft 365 systems over the last three years. Now, the secret is this. Nobody wants to take a one hour, two hour, four hour, eight hour online video course. People like knowing things. They don't like learning things. The learning part, especially in IT, is boring. The learning part is tedious. I kid you not. The last time I completed both my Microsoft 365 and Azure certifications, I kept a glass of whiskey by my side every night as I studied to get through the tedium of the certification exam training. I remember the Azure practice exam alone had 400 questions to study. That's how I got through it, whiskey. But to get to the knowing part, the fun part, we have to do the learning part. So how can we learn in an interesting way that isn't boring, especially when we're talking about 
learning business apps and apps for work. Well, let's start with this. What do you do now when you want to learn something quickly, really quickly? You don't want to spend too much time doing it. I bet when you want to learn something quick, you do a quick Google search. If you can't find what you need on a web page, you'll then do a YouTube search. Now, when I'm in YouTube, I want to learn what I need as quickly as possible. So I search in YouTube, and then YouTube shows me its search results. First, I look at the thumbnail. If that draws me in, then I look at the title. And if that looks interesting, I look at the views. And then lastly, I look at how long the video is. And of course, the shorter the video is, the better. The more relevant the video is, the more views it has, and the shorter it is, the more likely I'll watch that video and the greater chance I'll actually absorb the information without clicking out the video and not completely finishing it, and the greater chance I'll actually learn something. People can learn quickest by watching useful videos that are short and to the point. Then if we line up these short videos in a structured sequence, we can accomplish training that is not boring and can be accomplished in short spurts of time as the user can get to it. Five minutes here, 10 minutes there, eight minutes there. And over a few weeks, they can accomplish a lot of training. This is called micro video training. And this is exactly how we enable our clients with training at Zerillion. We sell and support a training system called Quick Help by a company called Brainstorm. And we can figure their platform to our clients' needs. And this service is our confident cloud advantage training system. Our micro video training system shows people in short video clips, one minute to three minutes long each, cool things you can do with modern Microsoft 365 apps and services, which are your modern digital work tools. These micro videos don't start with, here's how you open Outlook and create your first email. Our system assumes you know how to get around the apps okay, but you're probably not aware of and you need to learn all the cool things that we know at Zerillion your users are likely to not be aware of or at least have superficial knowledge of. You'll watch a video and it'll show you a cool thing you can do that you didn't know about. Then you'll watch another short video and it'll show you another cool thing you can do that you didn't know about. And then another thing and another thing. Again, short video clips. And then every two or three video clips, you'll be presented with a short, simple quiz, but it will make sure you are actually paying attention, not just spacing out. And believe me, I've been there where I started spacing out and then failed the quiz and then had to go back and rewatch the video because without passing the quiz, I can't move on. And then with each video watched and each quiz passed, I get points in the system. And whoever is the training manager or playing the role of training manager for your new Microsoft 365 system will get a dashboard showing the rankings of everyone assigned the training. You'll see who is taking the training serious with their high score ranking and you'll see if they've completed the training. And you'll see who isn't taking it seriously, such as the CEO or the other higher level executives in the company who tend to be the people at the bottom of the rankings for this training. They want others to do it, but they can't get around to it themselves. So they might need a little poke to be reminded that everybody can see that they're not getting it done and they need to get that training completed. But the point is that this system scores people and brings accountability. Also, everyone can see how everyone else is scoring, and then it becomes very easy to make this part of an employee's performance review. Did they complete the training and how many points did they score? You can even set goals as far as how many points they need to complete. And surely you want to be able to identify who are your best performers in taking the training most seriously. Now, in addition to the on-demand training, what if you want to take a deeper dive into something? Well, the real you, the one that doesn't want to learn but wants to know stuff, doesn't want to watch a 30-minute deep dive video on demand. We just talked about the value of short micro video training, but micro video training can't accomplish a deep dive. So if someone wants to dig deeper, or let's say the company needs them to dig deeper, what do you do? Micro video training is great for working in short bursts as you can get to it, but sometimes we need more in-depth training. So we do deep dive training in scheduled live 30 minute video increments. The key here is you have to actively go into the training calendar, see what is coming up for these deep dive videos, register for it and no sooner than 24 hours in advance, and then you'll get the deeper dive. 
because you are so incredibly motivated. But the point is that in 30 minutes of scheduled committed time in your calendar, as opposed to a micro video on demand training, which is as you have a few minutes here and there, the deeper dive training will get you further along in particular aspects you're interested in and you will have scheduled it in your calendar rather than as you can get to it. Now, what if you have internal company training that you do over and over? Wouldn't it be nice to load up your company's training, not the training we provide, but your own training that you do in a micro video training format with quizzes? The good news is you can. You can add it right onto our platform. Any training that you do over and over in your company, such as onboarding, uh, new employees to the company or training employees on technical processes and workflows. Think about all the training that you do over and over and scheduled 30 minutes or one hour again and again, especially in the times we live in now that you're doing virtually anyway over a computer screen. And instead of presenting the next session, record at Microsoft Teams, which is easy to do. Then to ensure accountability, you create a quiz on it to make sure that the user absorbed the information. Recording the video will take no more time than you normally present this material when you do it now. And uploading the video and making the quiz won't even take 30 minutes. And if you don't want to get involved in that and you want us to just handle it for you, we can do it. The cost is not expensive. From there, you are out of the business of presenting the same thing over and over. And now you've freed up that time for other things you can do in the company. I call that pure productivity gain. And again, our training platform is not expensive at all. Congrats on going 100% cloud using Microsoft 365 and Azure Cloud Services and giving your team, your employees, the most advanced, modern, sophisticated digital tools in the world. But let's finish this out strong with a modest investment. Get set up with some basic training for those modern digital tools that your employees have as part of your Microsoft 365 subscription. Let's increase their job satisfaction reduce their level of frustration, and raise the quality of their work and communications. And if you're interested in talking to us about our micro video training platform for Microsoft 365 Cloud Services called our Confident Cloud Advantage Trainer, you can call us at 847-995-9800 or email support at or visit our website. Check us out and fill out the contact form. We look forward to speaking with you. I'll see you in the next video.